Well, hello everyone and just a quick good morning because we have to get on our feet and explore two more islands today. It will be Saptang and Idbayat. I am ready for it. Are you ready for it? Well, if you're ready for it, let's go. Let's explore. Let's explore. Our adventure starts in the harbor of Batan. Once a day, early morning, you can grab the boat to Itbayat from here. They say it can be a rough two and a half hours. They even give you little plastic puking bags. But I think we are lucky today, because our ride is silky smooth. We arrive at our homestay, where Miss Kano explains everything about the surroundings and all the exciting things the island has to offer. Now, we do not have beach, no public market, no hotel, no recreational uh, center, no movie house, no SM, no land back, so many, so many. All right, well, maybe we should grab a hammock and pick our nose for a day. Well, of course not. You guessed it. It's time for a tour. How cool is this? We are invited to enjoy our lunch at a local wedding, where they feed everyone at the village. Well, I would love to join in on the fun of dancing, but Judy calls. There is more to explore. They say the first inhabitants of Itbayat arrived right at this cave from Taiwan thousands of years ago. Now it's a beautiful, quiet place. Well, let's get off to bed because we have to wake up early morning for what seems to be a beautiful sunrise. Oh, girl, sometimes you just shouldn't worry so much. Wow! It's time to say goodbye Itbayat and hello Saptang. Well, I am glad that this is only a half an hour boat ride. I 
the guy and I don't think that he's your brother but Keep it on the cover, let's go for a ride It's so obvious there's something between us But don't worry cause ain't nobody seen us We shift gears, now I'm making you smile Let's think away baby just for a while After a stroll through the village, I arrive at our homestay, where Miss Margie is working in her garden, or you'll find her in the little shop next to her house. My place is in the living room. Nothing fancy, but all so perfectly quiet and serene. Let's wake up at the crack of dawn and combine the two tours this island has to offer. Sold her those broken dreams that can keep you up at night. And David tries, he is reaching towards the sky, trying hard to see the light that shows him where to go so he can do what's right. She says there's something in the air that's taking hold of me. Yeah, she tells him that he should know. And yes, we end up at a wedding. I noticed yet again how many friendly and open people you meet in the Philippines. Inviting you for dinner, just for a talk, at their party or just to be silly. That's why I must say... Oh, Batanes, you break my heart a little bit. I don't want to leave you behind. Thank you, Batanes, for being so great, nice and beautiful. If you want more information about my stay here, please click the link that is appearing somewhere in the screen right now because I wrote an article for you with all practical information. But before you click that link, please like, subscribe and leave your thoughts here down below in the comment box. See you next week.